So today we'll start internal controls. Now business are becoming complex. McDonald's used to be a small restaurant and now it's uh, one of the largest food chain in the world. Same for KFC, Pizza Hut and similar others that we know. They used to be very small, now they are very big. When you are a small company, owner is in the office, he takes decisions, he is sincere to himself, so business start growing. But when we give to employees, employees may have different kind of objectives. Maybe they, their objective is not the company growth, their objective is their own growth. So they want to make lot of money overnight, they want to sell uh, and get commissions, they don't care whether the cost is, this is the right price. Then we have resources, assets in the company. Uh, which requires some innovation, some kind of leadership. If we are not committed with our uh, job, environment and management, so there will be a difference, a gap between the objectives and what we are doing. So increasing businesses compels us, force us to adopt certain kind of uh, latest knowledge which falls under the category called internal controls means where there are employees we have a risk so to handle these risks we need to put internal control systems now later part of this discussion is IT controls information technology controls all the richest companies in the world, they are IT based companies. For example, the richest man in the world is Bill Gates. Bill Gates is the owner, director of the Microsoft, which is an IT company. Oracle is also an IT company. Google is also an IT company. These are the richest companies in the world. And there are a lot of other companies which are in the information technology. So IT is, IT, the use of IT in our day-to-day -day life has increased tremendously. So no accountant can survive without knowing an accounting software. This accounting software can be hacked. Your databases can be hacked. Your information can be missed used so a company need to put information system controls in the company in order to save a reputation and a stealing of information for example if you are a bank and you have money of people right and some hacker hacks the account and transfer money here and there right so you will run to the bank and you will ask them I don't need banking with you I need money I don't trust you right and this will spoil the business of the that particular bank you know so banks or any other organizations they need to spend a lot of money effort brain management to deploy a system in order to secure themselves against these hacking uh, viruses or malwares that we call uh, in order to save their core business and reputation so imagine you are a bank, you are a manufacturing company, you are McDonald's, you are KFC, you are a management accountant. So it is your core responsibility to make sure that your information system is in protected hands, right? So this is a practical importance. So maybe tomorrow if I join a company, a big size, CMA is generally employed by big companies because they are the one who understands and require people who can make budgets, who can make performance managements, who can put in, deploy internal controls. They hire specialized people like you. So that time you have to deploy your knowledge, you have to exercise it. The first question if I tomorrow join a new company, where is our server? It is online, offline, what kind of networking we have in the company, who can access, who has which rights, who can see what information, how to keep it in a protective zone, how people enter in the company, what they sign, 
do we, we have a visitor register do we have an attendance machine how we make sure that the controls everything has control employees is coming time leaving time we are paying the right employees the right amount or it is everyone is taking the amount that they want they are coming not coming what are their targets daily weekly these are the things that comes in internal control management systems which as a cma it is our core job to understand these issues because if we will grab these uh, issues our operational efficiency will increase organizations close generally when the employees are not sincere not committed they are they have no control whatever they want to do so in certain times organizations start losing and one day we re we read in newspapers that this organization is going to close so this is the importance we'll see internal controls and security measures Broadly, what we need to discuss is the control procedures, systems, information technology, security measures, and business continuity planning. Business continuity has become really important nowadays. Suppose if someone hacks the website of Google, Microsoft, they say we will re recover in seconds. So this is their contingency plan. Contingency means any situation that will come and you will be unable to operate and then what you will do. For example, we go on airport, we have passport, we have visa, they check our visa, they ask, then we can exit. So imagine if the system is down and almost half a million people are on airport, right? So how they will operate if there is something issue with server or system or with employees, for example. So there should be a plan B, plan C means contingency planning. So in good times, we think about bad times. You know. Maybe today you are employed, you have extra money, if you will not save it for your future, so when you will have no money, then you will have a lot of trouble to sustain, you know, right? This is not only with salaries, this is with everything, you know. Does not mean that if you are married, you have one wife, so you are thinking about the second as a plan B. That is not the meaning of this plan disaster recovery, you know. So, control processes see we want to control the organization resources so what are the organization resources it's manpower we have computers we have um, accounting software we have uh, cash you know so a lot of managements we have to do for that we define what we want to control that becomes a control procedures. For example, minimum we want to control in a company that employees are coming on time, right? <clears throat> then if they are coming on time, what they are doing? So there should be a performance reporting quarterly, yearly or monthly basis right maybe immediate boss knows that who is what the supervisor uh, the junior is doing so this all will be your controls control requires feedbacks so if i put an attendance control employees are coming they are giving thumb impression and going in the office so and no one checking so maybe out after one month you will realize no one checks so no need to bother about it you keep putting fingerprints but no one checks so such kind of controls is not going to work so we as a management first will put the controls then we will start taking the feedback so maybe by 10 10 30 there will be a designated person who will pull out the attendance from the machine and will start an analysis and after analysis then whatever will be the latecomers they will take an action on it you know if they do that so means they have a control process and they are having a feedback on it so that will be an effective solution but anything missing will not work for the organization so control processes includes establishing standards